Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna go install the last piece of my EcoBoost overheating solution. And, uh, and that piece of equipment is this uh, full race oil cooler kit. And this one in particular is made for the 11 to 14 EcoBoost. Um, I believe they have other kits for other models and other, other engines as well. So the plan is this oil cooler in combination with uh, my new full race radiator and the full race trans cooler. Um, that will all fix the overheating issue while towing. And um, in case you guys don't know, um, the EcoBoost likes to overheat uh, while towing up long, steep grades, uh, often in uh, super, hot, super hot and dry climates like Utah and Arizona. So um, this is my last piece of the puzzle and I'll, I'll get it in. I think I'm gonna do some custom fabrication on this because um, I don't have the uh, stock bumper, which this normally mounts to, so I'll have to get a little creative, but it should work just fine. Um, all right, well, uh, we'll do a tabletop review and then I'll show you how I install it. Okay, everything on the blue plastic is what comes with the kit. Starting the left here, we have this powder-coated aluminum mounting bracket, and this will place it, uh, place the the core in the center of the bumper where that gap is on the uh, 09 to 14s. And moving across, um, you have these two uh, steel braided lines. As you can see, one is longer than the other, and that's for the uh, the longer one reaches across to the passenger passenger side um, outlet. Uh, or port, if you would, um, and obviously you need a little bit more length to accommodate that. So next we have the sandwich plate adapter, which I think is uh, pretty neat. And so basically, the sandwich plate sits in place of where your current uh, oil filter goes. So as you can see, if I bring my Wix filter here, it's got a similar O-ring or you know O-ring where you need it, and. Um, so that will that will go exactly where you currently put your oil oil filter. You'll thread on this um, this nut, some sort. You'll thread that on, torque it down to what the spec that's in the directions. Then all you have to do is thread on your oil filter like that, and basically you have your filtration, and then you have your two ports here to mount your uh, mount your cooler. Um, it's a it's a pretty neat product, um, and it does have a thermostat in it which is cool. Um, the thermostat will allow you to not uh, run a bunch of coolant or sorry, run a bunch of uh, oil through your cooler if you're trying to, for instance, heat up your engine and it's cold outside. So this will kind of um, restrict the, uh, the flow to the cooler so that way your, your engine actually heats up and your oil heats up properly. And then once it's, once it's hot, it'll, stop, it'll start uh, sending oil through the, uh, the core there. So, and then to the right here, we just have all the uh, hardware and accessories that come with it. So here you've got a bunch of gaskets. You have uh, some nuts and bolts for mount for the um, mounting plate. And here you have your uh, adapters. So I almost forgot the uh, the most important piece, the uh, the core itself. So this is two inches thick, six inches tall, and 14 inches from you know this end plate to this end plate. So um, it's it seems like it's pretty sizable. Um, and it's pretty, you know, it's it's going to be pretty jam packed in there. So anything bigger, I couldn't handle. So I think this is going to be the perfect size, and I'm really excited about uh, about how this is going to help the truck. I want to show you one more thing before I start trying to throw this on the truck and start uh, problem solving a little bit. So what this new oil cooler allows me to do is to replace the stock oil cooling system. And so how they achieve that is, so this is the lower radiator hose, as you can see, it's uh, nice and dirty and right off the truck. So they pass coolant uh, from the radiator nice and cool and up there's a uh, there's kind of like a divider here and it sends some of that coolant up to uh, this aluminum block which is in, attached to the motor and that that oil passes through that location and it helps cool it off and then it sends that coolant back back into the motor so what I'm trying to do is eliminate that altogether so you can buy another for radiator hose um, that's not made for the EcoBoost and that'll basically bypass as you can see uh, coolant will flow right from 
the radiator into the engine and it won't be preheated by the oil. So basically we're separating the two systems. The oil is going to cool off uh, via the air and the coolant will be a little bit colder as it goes into the engine. Okay, so for those of you that aren't familiar with what I've done with the truck, as you can see, I have a tube bumper here. And I put in a, um, hitch, re a hitch receiver so that way I can eventually run a winch off of a, uh, off a like winch cradle. So this is the spot normally where this, um, where this cooler would mount. However, I'm going to have some issues mounting it there because of all the all the crap I've stuck in there. So I'm going to attempt, I should be able to do it, I'm going to be, attempt to put it right here in this gap uh, between the intercooler mounts and the, uh, the AC condenser right there. It's going to be kind of a tight squeeze, um, but I think that should give it, you know, at least some fresh air um, from under the truck. And I'm eventually going to put, like, lights down here um, so that'll end up kind of protecting the oil cooler a little bit, um, but it also shouldn't interfere too much with the uh, with airflow getting to the radiator. So, um, or excuse me, to the oil cooler. So I'll probably have to do a little bit of modification. I might try to. I might have to trim this plastic here a little bit, just get it back closer to the uh, to the actual aluminum fins. And you know, who knows? Maybe I'll have to trim some off here, but we'll see. Um, it's going to be a tight fit, and then I'll have to figure out how we're, how we're actually going to mount that um, and secure it in place. It might be a little interesting. So, um, obviously, this is kind of a unique um, setup, and this wouldn't apply to everyone, but, so, but hopefully it will still give you a good idea on how this all goes together. Okay, I got the oil cooler all mounted up. Here it is, kind of buried down here. I finally got it all secured. I made made up some... Um, I guess S-shaped brackets here using the intercooler mount that came with the full race intercooler. So I uh, made some, some little brackets for those. So it holds it in nicely. Over here, I did the same. So obviously these look a little bit different because the cooler itself is not perfectly centered. And that's just to get around um, like the transmission lines here and everything. So... Um, all right, so let me see. I, th I think it'll, it's going to fit pretty nicely. You can see the, uh, the air path it'll get. I am thinking about putting some sort of protectant, protectant there, maybe some sort of screen or um, expanded metal to uh, you know just help avoid any like crazy rock chips or something. But um, it should get have a pretty good path of air. It's really not blocking much of the... Uh, of the radiator or the uh, condenser, you know, maybe what's that? A couple inches. Yeah. So not much. Um, so I also put some 3M tape as you can see here. So this is just going to stop any abrasion because it is going to be pretty jam packed in here between the intercooler, which sits right here and the condenser. So I just didn't want any of the aluminum to, uh, to rub on, rub on each other and cause damage. So, so let's go up to the, let's see, I don't know what the lighting is going to be like. I might have to get a, a flashlight. Oh, it's not bad. So as you can see, I'll point my finger right there. Um, that's the sandwich plate I have installed. There's no uh, oil filter on it yet, but as you can see, the there's the braided lines. I had to kind of coil them up a little bit. Let's see, you can see it in there. Had to kind of coil them up a little bit just because... Uh, the way I set it up, the the oil cooler is much further in than it would be with uh, the full race mounting location. So normally it would be like you know, like down here ish or something. So um, a lot of that extra extra line would be used. So they kind of got coiled up out of the way. Uh, a couple things the directions know are just making sure uh, nothing's touching the serpentine belt right there, and um, so I avoided that. And another key thing is um, try to torque the uh, the plate down to 30 to 35 uh, foot pounds. It was a little challenging to get a, a torque wrench in there, and my socket wasn't cooperating because it is kind of a tight fit with the um, with the different features of the thermostat there. But um, I got it, I got it done. One thing I would recommend is I would 
connect the AN lines down there. I would connect them loosely and then, uh, then go in, tighten down the sandwich plate, and then go back later and then do a final tightening of the AN lines because that'll just allow you to kind of like move them around a little bit as you get everything set into place. So the next thing is just uh, put the oil filter on and I should be able to fill it up with oil. And then um, the directions call for you basically to prime, prime the oil system. So you do the, the no start, well, I guess, I guess it's no ignition. I don't know what it would be called. Um, but you start it with, with holding the gas pedal all the way down and it won't, uh, it won't fire the engine up. It'll just turn over. So basically you're turning it over, that gets oil primed through the system. All right, I got the oil filter on, and just so you know, the oil filter, you use the same one you normally use, and just the threads are the exact same. Now I'm gonna prime the oil system, and I'll show you how that works. All right, so now I'm in the truck, and to prime the system, all you do is put your foot all the way down on the gas, and turn it over. You should watch the oil pressure gauge climb. All right, I'm gonna give the starter a break. It climbed a little bit. All right, let's try it again. Okay, it's starting to move there a little bit. So I think we're good. All right, we got the oil cooler fully installed. So next thing to do, I just gotta button everything up and start it and uh, do some other tests with my, uh, make sure my coolant doesn't leak and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so the oil filter is about to get covered by the intercooler, and um, and then I'll be doing some testing. So uh, watch out for some more videos. We'll see if uh, Full Race can um, fix the EcoBoost's um, overheating problem. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any uh, questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help out and give you some answers. And um, see you around.